How do you attract prospects to come to you instead of you hunting for sales? This is a very deep topic because it's not going to happen like overnight. This thing really need to build, you, you need to acquire skills that require and you need to build your personal branding. You have to understand your niche and so on. But I'm going to summarize it into a few points that easy for you to, to grab the whole ideas. You see, when I first started the business, I, I really go and hunt for sales because you know, you don't have money come in and then you become so desperate so what you do is that you really go and prior private message everyone and just ask for sales and eventually you become the hardcore salesman right you become so hard selling and nobody like it so so what happened next is um, because i got so many rejections and i keep asking myself how do i turn the table around like instead of i go and hunt for sales how do i get people to voluntary and lining i want to work with me I keep learning, of course, in between I learn and then invest in courses, books and all these things to learn how to do it. So eventually I found out the formula is pretty simple. The first thing is you really have to understand the audience that you want to work with and first of all, what problem you want to solve, who is the audience, all right? And what's your offer, so how you can solve their problems, what's your pain point. You have to figure out this part first and you also have to understand why you are doing this. And all these questions, it might not look sexy at all, but a lot of people, when they look at this question, they are oh, it's another questionnaire again. So, but these are the questions that really help you to nail down your offers. And it's those questions, it's the, it's the fundamental step that really set you up as the authorities to, to get people to come to you, to work with you. So the idea, like the big concept is we want to become the top of mind like persons, the top of mind persons that when people think of, okay, you want to solve this problem, you can look for KC or you look for Olivia's or whatsoever. So how do you want to be able to reach that stage is that again, like I said, the first thing is to understand your niche or uh, your ideal audience. The second thing is how you want to keep demonstrate to them and show up to them that you have the capability so to solve their pain points. So this require a constant like you need to frequently give out values okay in terms of videos in terms of facebook live so in terms of posts or text blog posts podcasts whatever it is so you have to utilize the social media right now to constantly add value to them and so that people will start like okay who is this guy and why is he still why is why is he often pop up in my facebook because we are mutual friends or he somehow they somehow like your page or whatsoever right if you are starting from zero then it's a good start uh it's a good start that you start from your personal facebook first then you slowly transfer them to a page so once you know this principle that okay i need to become the top of my person like when i think of solving business challenge or marketing issue i need to go and find cases when i want to get more clients i need to go and find cases right so you need to keep doing marketings you have to learn how to do marketing so that's where the skills in it you need to acquire these skills you need to learn how to do build out your personal brandings through content okay you need to learn how to do closings and so so that eventually when you learn all these skills you eventually have a process that process we call it a client acquisition process okay it's, it it means that how do you acquire a strangers a total strangers to become prospect and from prospect to become your paying customers or clients at the end so this like really require a lot of skills, copywriting skills, marketing skills, like advertising skills, like presentation skills. So if you are not equipped yet, you have to like, like really learn as fast as you can to do it because there are no other shortcut to do it. And you, perhaps you need to learn about video editing skills and so. So all these things is so crucial. It sets you up like, okay, I can constantly give up valuable content. I know how to do marketing. And at the end, like when they are ready, that's where actually they will go into your acquisition process. Like what to do. If, I'm, if they're interested, then what to do next, right? Do they put a call with you? Do they prior message you? Or do they meet them? Do they have a meet up with you? So what is the things? So if you don't have this client acquisition process, then it could be tough because when they are ready, but you don't have an effective acquisition process, you will lose the customer. You Sorry, you will lose the prospect because they think that you're not professional. They think that you are just half big, right? Or half tongue, right? So everything has to do it from the very beginning. But the main thing is that you need to know what you're doing first. You need to know what kind of problem you want to solve, how to solve it. So do you have a like, case study to prove or not? If you don't have what you should do, right? If you don't have case study, you probably have to work. You have to find some like, potential prospect and you do them for free but in return you have to get testimonials so this is for people who are just like newbies but people who already have some things you want to switch turn the table around that okay instead of i go and hunt for sales you come and look for me and when you manage to do that there's a lot of benefits number one you don't have to like 
like so stressful to go and think okay when where is the next line where is the next line the next thing the, the second thing is that you have the bargain power because if they are the one who come and look for your help like really they see you as the experts and they know that you can help them you have the bargain powers and then bargain power for example is that you it allows you to charge higher compared to your competitors and the second thing is that even though you charge higher people are still willing to pay because they know you can solve their problems right they know you can solve their problems and they probably will perhaps like they will find monies to really like want to get your service so like there's so many benefits like become the authority and become the top of my person so just a recap that if you really want to like attract prospects to come to you you have to do the work and constantly think of how do i want to become the top of my ideal clients how do I want to like demonstrate I have the capability to them? How do I want to give out valuable content so that they know that I have what it, whatever it takes to help them? So all these require strategies and tactics, right? That's why I say it's a step by step and it takes patience to do it. So I hope this videos like give you a little bit insights of actually how we turn the table around like from someone who really go out there and PMs like prime message everyone just to ask for sales and in return actually we turn it like people are looking for us right now okay please help me to share with everyone that you, you think that this video is helpful for them and together we can help more people and last thing is if you find that this video is useful and you want to get more info and get more valuable advice or content from us please tell me to click the subscribe buttons and we'll see you in the next video